everyone, it's Sierra from thehomeblondie.com and this video is going to be all about our entryway makeover. So I will have details and links to everything in my blog post, which will be linked in the description box below, but let's get into it. So our entryway has always been a little bit of a challenging area for me to decorate in our house. It's just really long and narrow, and I feel like I have finally got it right just with trial and error over the years. I've had it decorated in different ways, but I feel like with this makeover, I've been super intentional about every detail and I just love it. I feel like it really flows with the rest of our house. So let me tell you what I did. So before I even started like decorating or doing any projects, I was just trying to think, okay, what is like the feel of our entryway that I want? And your entryway, so it's not like the first impression of your house because that would be like the exterior of your house. But when people walk into your home, that's like, uh, I guess their second impression, but they really get a feel for your house. So I definitely wanted mine to be like welcoming, functional, and I don't know, I, get, I always say cozy. I'm trying to like get away from using that word so much, but I think that I did a good job of like pulling those elements into the space. So first let's talk about the accent wall that we did. So I did a vertical shiplap. There's a couple of different ways to like describe this type of accent wall, but that's how I usually describe it. Um, so I did the exact same thing that I did in our guest bathroom, kids bathroom. I do have a, another video on my channel of our kids bathroom, guest bathroom um, makeover. So you can watch that one if you want to but I just thought like having it here and then also having it in the bathroom, it's really like cohesive to our home. So I like to do that. I like to kind of use like similar colors or similar like um, style elements throughout our entire house to make it feel like just really cohesive. So like I said, I have that accent wall and then I also have these exact same hooks. The ones in the bathroom are bold, but I have these all over the house in different places. So I feel like it's really functional because um, we have so many places for people to hang like their coats or purses or whatever. We do have a coat closet right here, but it's filled with like me and my husband's coats and it's pretty much full. We also have just like some storage and junk in there. So I don't necessarily want our guests like trying to put their stuff in there and like all of our <laughs> junk is falling out. So um, so these are gonna be great for that. I also decided to do a gallery wall of photos, which is nothing like revolutionary, but I feel like it's a great place to put family photos in your entryway because as people are coming into your house, they're like, oh, this is who lives here. Um, so I'm not someone who's like really big on art. Like it takes a lot for me to really fall in love with an art piece. And I think it's really difficult for me to find art that I like. So I tend to move more towards like family photos and stuff to like fill up wall space. Um, of course, I don't want our house to be like a total shrine of us, but I did see, I think it was just on Facebook, so who knows like the validity, validity of it, but it was like this study about how um, it's really good for children's like mental health to have like family photos around the house. So um, that's my excuse is it'll be good for our little baby to have like all these family pictures around. So yeah, I think it like turned out really nice. I went back and forth on whether I should hang them vertically or horizontally. But yeah, I did horizontal just because I felt like with the vertical boards like it needed to be like different I don't know that just is what <laughs> made sense in my mind all right now we can talk about the opposite side of our accent wall so I've done like a few different things here but what ultimately worked was having this table here um, and then also a mirror so because this space is like so skinny 
having them near just like makes it feel a little bit larger. Also, I think it's nice to have a mirror here so you can kind of like check yourself out before you walk out the door. Um, we don't use this door like a ton. We mostly like go in and out of our garage. So I didn't really need like a full length mirror, which I did have here at one point, but yeah, I just thought like one over the table was perfectly fine for this space. And then on our table, I just decorated it with a plant and I stacked um, some different like coffee table books. They're mostly like about home or the house. So this one is like Make Life Beautiful. That one's by Sid and Shay McGee. Then I also have Homebody, um, which is Joanna Gaines. And then the house that Pinterest built by D Diane Keaton. Um, so I don't know, I just like that kind of vibe of the books and then also the colors. Um, and then of course I have a diffuser here. So that's another thing when people are coming into your house, like every house has a smell <laughs> and I hope that mine is a good one. We do have two dogs. Um, so I try to like always have oils going to keep our air fresh. Um, so I definitely wanted one in the entryway so people kind of get hit with that scent like right when they walk in. I also have just like a few plants here just to fill in the space um, and a little sign that says hello. And then a lamp was totally necessary for us. We love having lamps on. Right now I have both of the lights on, but we usually just have lamps on. And this one is great because it has a foot button. So it's really easy to just walk by and turn it on and off and um, yeah, I just, all the little details in this area, like just really tie in all of the elements in the rest of our house. Like we have this same type of um, like wicker type material on the blinds of our like back door. And yeah, I, I just love <laughs> this entryway. I think we totally nailed it by making it feel like welcoming and functional and cozy. So that is it for this video. Like I said, I'll have all of the details linked in my blog post on thehomeblondie.com. So you can check that out. It'll be linked below, but thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.